Hello everyone, I'm Sai Priya. Along with me, I have Aditya and Varun from the IT. Today, we are going to demonstrate externally hosted web views with an Oracle Digital Assistant. While interacting with the chatbot, natural language conversations are not always the best way to collect information from its users, especially if we need to collect sensitive data like credit card, SSN, or passport details. WebView offers a way to collect different types of data while also protecting your sensitive information. ODA calls a WebView URL created on Oracle Integration Cloud where it transforms the payload. This enables the ODA to pass the data collected from the bot to an externally hosted VBCS application. You can also get back the response from the application to the bot. Let's see how we can integrate an externally hosted WebView authored in VBCS. Hi everyone, I'll be presenting the BBCS portion of the use case. So this is a very simple application. Uh, this is what it looks like. We have the name and amount uh, field, which is empty right now, but uh, this field will be populated whatever the user gives input from the digital assistant. And radio set is simply the response that we want to pass back to the digital assistant. So if I click on the input text and go to the data, we are storing in a variable called name same applies for the amount as well if i quickly go to the variables and see our amount variable here we have this uh, input parameter enabled and pass on urls check same applies for the name and the callback url so that way whenever we are calling the web view from the digital assistant we are passing all these three value from the digital assistant to the BBCS. Another thing that we want to take a look into is the button. So whenever the user clicks the submit button, we have the action chain defined over here. If I click on the click on the action chain, there is a JavaScript function. If I click on go to module function, this is what it looks like. So in the function, we are passing the post bag URL and the data to submit. Data to submit is nothing but our response from the radio set. And post bag URL, we are already passing it as a query parameter from the digital assistant. And we are making a, making a post call whenever the user clicks the submit button or the cancel button. That way, we are getting the response back to the digital assistant and user can continue, continue the flow from there. I will be talking about the integration piece in our solution. Uh, so since in our uh, scenario, the web view is an externally hosted web view, uh, the documentation suggests for an externally hosted web app, uh, you need to host the web app itself, uh, which we're doing in Visual Builder Cloud service, and you would need to host an intermediary service. So in our case, the intermediary service is Integration Cloud. And uh, you would ask, why do we need this? Um, that is because ODA cannot send, cannot generate a, a URL like this from the uh, inputs that the user provides within the chat. Uh, what it can do is it can send a, a JSON structure like this, which is an array of key value pairs to that intermediary service and it expects the intermediary service to return uh, a webview.url uh, which is the app URL. In our case this would be the VBCS URL uh, with the callback URL uh, which is basically the URL that this app, our VB app, would call after it's done processing uh, its task. So what we have to do in our integration is we take in this array of key value pairs and we kind of break them down into query parameters. So let's take a look. So this is the integration that I have. Um, it is exposed as a REST service and uh, exposed as a post call so that ODA can pass that body which it's supposed to. 
So it accepts the um, array of key value pairs. Uh, here, uh, this step, we're just initializing a empty uh, param string variable. Now we're doing for each parameter. So for each key value pair, what, we're tr what we want to do is we want to um, keep concatenating the the uh, each key value as a query parameter to the param string. And we want to skip, however, we want to skip two particular values. One is the webview.ondone, because remember, we need to read this key, but we need to send it as callback. So we skip those, and at the end, as you can see, this is the param string that is that we you know kept on appending in that for each loop. We concatenate the value of VBCS URL which would, in our case, be, you know, that app URL. Um, we do a question mark, because then we have to pass in the parameters uh, for the query parameters. And at the end, we add a callback URL, and then we assign the uh, webview.ondone value. Now let's take a look at how this would look like. So let's test this. So in my case, I have arc1, arc2, I have VBCS URL, and then this. So this is the body that would you know, be generated um, from ODA. Yeah, let's say tomorrow there are 20 arguments. Uh, this integration can handle that. And it is um, dynamic in, in the sense that you, the ODA knows what VB app it's supposed to call. So if you have multiple ODAs, which have to call different different VBCS apps, you, this would be a generic integration where you would pass in the value of that app, uh, which needs to be opened. This is how the output will look like. So the VBCS URL, then that question mark, um, and then the arguments that we have. And in the callback URL, we put the value of the webview.ondone. So that's it for the piece of integration. I'm here to demonstrate how you can configure your ODA with an externally hosted web view on VBCS. Let's go ahead and open an existing skill we have and add a web view service. Click the plus add service button and enter the name and the description. Turn off the service hosted toggle button to leverage the externally hosted VBCS application. Add your web app URL which you just generated in Oracle Integration Cloud. Also, go ahead and add an authentication token. Now, create the service. That's it. Now all we need to do is to add the web view service within the dialog flow. All right, let's proceed to the dialog flow. The ask name component takes the name of the credit card holder and the ask amount component can be used to capture the dispute amount. We have also added a VBCS published URL. Now our next step is to add a web view component for which click on the add component button and select service integration. Now select display web view. Here I'm going to add the code without the comments after the web view state. Now click on the insert component. This is how I can add the code. As you can see, I have added the intermediary service which we just created. Also, pass the source variables from the bot to the VBCS application. And the variable that is output from the web is the response back from the service. I'm going to print the reason for the dispute as soon as we close the web view. Let's go ahead and watch the demo in action. Open the bot tester and type in hi. The bot asks for the credit card holder's name and the dispute amount. It provides you a clickable button to take you to the web view. As you can see, the variables have been passed from the bot to the VBCS web application. The user will pick the reason, enter the comments and hits the submit button. A thank you message has been displayed. After we switch to the bot, you will find the reason for the dispute as a response from the application.